Hi, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to run through what happens when somebody sees your ad, they write you, and they ask for a quote. And that's what you see here by this girl who saw my ad, which is here. It's coming up. This is my ad. I made this ad. You see in the reply button has the information. Here's the condo and the pictures and what I wrote. The map looks perfect. All this stuff looks good. Wash and dryer and unit, attached garage, no smoking. Make sure you add all this stuff. I need to change this. So she saw this ad and she wrote me and she says dear I would like to know the price for the period of 1st February to 7th of March thanks a lot and she gave me a copy of where my ad is here so I need to build a quote send it to her along with the text that goes before the quote so I've switched to the quote machine where I'm going to build this quote now first I have to choose the property that I'm making the quote for. Well, this was my ad, so which ad was here. So I know which property this is. And this is the Alexander. No, this is the Seacoast. This is the Seacoast. So I'm going to build a quote for the Seacoast. So I'm going to go back to Quote Machine. I am going to left click on this aqua blue bar. Left click. I will select all markets, which will show me all the properties that we have available. I could drill in and just get to where Seacoast is. It's I think it's in North Beach. Maybe it's Mid Beach. And there it is. Or easy way is just select all markets I know their alphabetical order I look for S I click it okay what were this girl's dates let's look she wants February 1st to March 7th so the dates we're gonna put are February 1st to March 7th we need to put in her email address which is right here. Copy that and put it in Quote Machine. Recalculate. Record. And we check out our quote right here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into my reply to her a little space there because I want to put the text that we need to put before this quote. That's what the quote looks like. And over here I'm going to put the text from the VRA document. Which starts here. You can make little subtle changes to this. Oops. Once we do a control C to this text here if you want to make yours more polite or a little more friendly and warm be feel free as long as it has the same idea which is to say hi here is the quote you asked for the first link in the quote below shows you pictures of the property and a location map the second link in the quote below takes you to the booking form where you can book this property with your credit card I don't know your budget if you let me know I can show you all your options at one time. Thanks, and I look forward to making your next day the best ever. Warm regards, Dave. So here's the quote. And as we mentioned before, this link right here will go to the property page of the website that you are working. Remember, this link does not go to prepaid rentals that you see on these videos. Prepaid rentals is for these videos and demonstration purposes only. This link will go to a different website. And then 
this link goes to the secure booking form. So you simply press send and you are done. She'll either write back and ask you questions or she'll book. Now let's see what happens when I'm going to delete her. Now let's do a little test which you can do yourself also to see if the tracking of your booking is working. So what I did was I clicked on uh, the quote I made her. I clicked on the secure reservation deposit form and I'm going to uh, put in an email address. This is just for test purposes so you can check in my quotes to see that these bookings are being recorded. I'm going to fill in the information and just with dummy info so I'm trying to get this to work so I can show you uh, how it appears in my quotes. Okay, so I'm going to press Submit. And now I'm going to look on my quotes in the quote machine to see that this order was actually booked. So you did the test, you filled in the fields in the booking form and you pressed Submit. You want to make sure that that got recorded. My quotes. And then you see it right here. This is the reservation. Remember her? So my quotes. And it's recorded right here. Now this says booking paid. That means only a credit card was paid. You don't get paid for that. When they turn green, that means that the person sent in that 50% deposit that it talks about right here. When that deposit comes in, then you get paid and it turns to green and then it says paid over here that means you were paid but right now all we did was just book with a credit card so that's reflected there so that's how you uh, get track of what you get paid you can count the ones that are deposit green that aren't paid here and that's what you're owed the ones who are green here are ones you've already been paid for a few other important important things that I want you to see in this quote are the $75 booking fee here and in 24 hours or less you'll get your booking details and then this one here within four business days 50% of the total rate is due via ACH direct deposit bank wire or check not credit card if you would like to stop by our office to drop off your deposit please let me know. And then the final payment requirement is, a no, is the second 50% of the total uh, in cash or American Express Travelers checks. This is handed to the owner or one of our agents at the time of check-in. So there you go at soup to nuts from the original request to giving the quote. It's very easy and once you've done it a few times um, you can basically do it in your sleep and you'll be giving quotes very quickly and you'll be making more money quickly.